Good morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this, I am here with the Marathon County Health Alchemist, Laura Scuderi. Wow, I <laughs> love that title. That's fantastic. <laughs> How's it going? Really good. Uh, it's been a crazy, awesome week, though. I hear um, you have some last, news. I do have news. So that's my first question. That's not really a question. Okay. It is a statement. I got vaccinated. Yay! Yay! Well, I got the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine, which I'm super pumped about. Mm -hmm. um, what, it what, was, it, did yeah. you have any side effects? Um, so <laughs> I, my side effects are very severe of joy and hope. Um, very excited. Um, so I think that everyone should get it. You know, I was a little bit tired and I couldn't tell if that was just me living my life the way I am or, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, be. it was, yeah, it was really quick. It was, you know, I didn't even feel them doing it. I was thinking about live streaming it. And by the time I thought about that, it was over. So, um, but I got my sticker. I feel really excited about the future and what we're going to do this summer. Um, <laughs> being around other people, maybe. Yeah. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. And you can hug people that you want to hug uh, who are also vaccinated now. Yeah. I'm a little yeah. nervous about that. I'm not a hugger. So I know that I'm just going to have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, not until your second dose, Katie. So you have a cut, okay. you know, okay. you have some weeks in between before yes. you get hugged now. Yes. So okay. So just, maybe, you know, yeah. not until May or June. Um, yeah. maybe Hugging begins. Okay. All right. Well, I'm ready, I guess. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. So the other exciting news mm -hmm. uh, is more about what you've been working on for the last few weeks. Yep. Um, the NTC mass vaccination site. Mm -hmm. um, I got a quick tour of it this week. Uh, super efficient. Oh my gosh. People are in and out and, and just running through. It's like military precision. So mm -hmm. I want everyone to know all about where is it? What is it? Uh, what do I need to do in order to get vaccinated there, which um, hypothetical because I'm already kind of done there, but um, tell me all about it. Well, you know, we could really use your help in telling other people about it. So we are so excited. It is um, it is a site at NTC's uh, business and industry building, which okay. if you if you're familiar with the NTC campus, it is oh, sorry. Sorry, things are buzzing. Um, we're so excited, <laughs> things are buzzing. So um, the NTC building that it's not the main building, it's the uh, it's the one that is to the side of the main building and it's not the health sciences building. So uh, you will go on campus. If you, if you go on campus, you'll see there are arrows everywhere. There's directions and signage. So just uh, look for this business, business and industry building. Um, there, we're doing vaccinations there from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, and the way to get a, an appointment, it's a point by appointment only. The way to get an appointment is uh, there's two different ways. One, you can you can call in, and the number is 844-684-1064, or you can go to vaccinate.wi.gov, and either one of those will get you an appointment. Um, just so you know, we're booking up so fast that what happens some, to some people is that the full the week booked up and then when they looked for an appointment it said that there was no clinic there um, oh yeah I've heard that about <laughs> people saying like they want me to go to Eau Claire and I was like maybe wait no. an hour <laughs> yeah. don't go to Eau Claire if you don't need to or or if you can great you know get your vaccination any way you want but um but if you do want a an appointment at this site, um, just check back later, and it may become we will open up more um, appointments all the time. So uh, there will be appointments available to you. You know, this reminds me of my old times back uh, working in sneakers. Uh, you know, making refreshing and getting those Jordans that I really wanted. Um, only this feels a little bit, I mean, I, it was a little bit easier to get the, get vaccinated. So just for the record. <laughs> than, Jor than getting Jordans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you get them? The ones you wanted? I mean, I, I always do. <laughs> 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 when I want something, you know, you have to kind of you build relationships and you know, all of that. So, mm -hmm. but this is a lot easier. So uh, get your vaccine. Um, 
Yay. Yeah. Okay. So I have a question related to this though. Okay. Um, how, how much does it cost? Does, does every insurance cover it? What do I need to bring with me as far as that goes? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't cost anybody anything. So Yay. yeah, uh, some places, Aspirus, Marshfield, um, some places may ask for insurance, uh, but that's just so that they can get reimbursed by an insurance company. It, no one should have any kind of charge. So if you get charged accidentally, call the health system that charged you because they should not, you should have zero charge charge no matter where you go. So okay. whether it's Walgreens or it's Triggs or it's um, our AMI site at NTC, our big mass vaccination site that's doing 400 in a day, just a little plug about that, um, or at you know your healthcare provider, it, even if you give them insurance, you should not be charged. It should be completely free for you. Awesome. That is really great news um, for everyone. Um, I, sorry, I just want to sneak in one last question. I know it makes us kind of four, but I feel like my first question was more of a statement. So, um, you know, we were talking a little bit, there's some um, language barriers, and I know that there are some translation services um, available at the math site, um, and that's on Saturdays. Yeah. Is that what I'm... So we awesome. have, yeah, we actually have interpretation available every single day at the oh. site through uh, iPads, um, through uh, video conferencing. So at, at, at any time the site is open, there is interpretation available. Uh, we made uh, Saturdays uh, special in that we have in-person interpretation. So it's just a kind of a little extra step to um, help individuals in our community. And, uh, and that site, uh, again, it's open 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. And and then Saturdays has in-person interpretation. But awesome. if you speak a different language or if you have a family member that has speaks a, only a different language that needs interpretation feel in, and they're comfortable with you coming along, uh, feel free to bring your caregiver, your caregiver oh, awesome. or, or someone who speaks a language. If you're comfortable with them being, being with you or if uh, they're comfortable with you being with them, you, they can come through the site with you. I wanted to mention that too. That's really great. Um, and also sometimes it's nice to bring your husband along so he can take your picture, um, even if you didn't do it. So uh, <laughs> next time. <laughs> well, if you did, you, but the caveat, Katie, is uh, if if your husband is helping you with your language. <laughs> oh, OK. So, so no selfie help? <laughs> no selfie help. You can, do, you okay. can do selfie help in the parking lot, which would be All right. fine. <laughs> You'll accept it. I'll accept it. But I want to put it on TikTok, but oh, well, okay, here we go. All right. All right. Well, I think you answered all my questions for now. Um, yeah. I do have a couple in the hopper for next week. Great. So I'm excited right. to talk to you again. Okay. Have a great day. Yeah. You too, Katie. Bye-bye.